I'm originally from California, and one of the main reasons that our business is in Utah, and I moved here to start our business in Utah, is because Utah is actually a business-friendly state, uh, meaning that there are less uh, red tapes to go through, less obstacles that the state's put in place, less taxes uh, that allow a business to operate. Uh, secondly, Utah is just naturally, and I love this state for this reason, we're naturally uh, more entrepreneurial. There are more people looking for ways to earn money on their own. There are more people that want to be in charge of their own financial future here. And I'm not saying there aren't other states like this, but definitely compared to where I was in California. And that's allowed us to bring on really good talent, really great partners, people that uh, have the same mindset and the same goals as us to grow and to help other people, where the supply, you could say per capita, was much more limited uh, in California. And I mean, we could have gone anywhere and we ended up here because Utah's been for sale uh, for businesses. And we're not the only ones that have noticed that that multiple tech industries have moved here also because one, taxes, and the ease for a business to operate here. So yeah, I mean, there's probably a lot of other things, including like skiing, and if you like the outdoors, you know, that's a plus too. But um, from a business standpoint, this is just a great state to work in. And we plan to keep it that way. I think day trading has grown a lot in Utah. But I, don't, I wouldn't want to discredit also it, that it's growing probably, it's probably a national trend. Uh, again, I think the reason Utah is a hotspot has more to do with the personality type, the, like the kind of the, I don't know what you would call that. The, yeah, yeah, we, we are kind of a bootstrap state. Um, it's really personality. It's like the, specific qualities that you would look in certain types of people that would want to trade exist more here than they probably do in other states. Uh, one of the things that allows trading to even exist is you got to have discretionary funds. You have to have discretionary money. And to live in a state where your cost of living is through the roof, it's like, what discretionary funds do you have? There are people that where I used to live that were working three jobs to do what someone could do in one job here for the same house, same square footage, food, gas, you know, taxes, etc. Where here it's like they can have one job, right? And now they've got extra time and they have some extra discretionary funds that they could trade with. So I think states like Utah allow people to do things like that.